Hello. In this lecture presented by www.free-academy.com, we're going to be practicing the definition of the derivative by finding the derivative of a fairly complicated function, at least by our standards so far. We need to find the derivative of f of x equals the square root of x plus 1. And then we'll find the tangent line at x equals 8. Now like in any other problem, to find the derivative you need f of x and you need f of x plus h. So let's start out by calculating x plus h. This is just a matter of putting x plus h everywhere we see x in the equation. So f of x plus h equals the square root of x plus h plus 1. So there isn't anything more that can be done about it at this point. We can't simplify these any further, so let's put them into our equation for the derivative and see if we can't solve it be the square root of x plus h plus 1 minus the square root of x plus 1. This is all divided by h. Now until we get h out of the denominator, we don't have a solution. So there's probably no way that you can look at this and empirically figure out how to do it. So it's just a matter of experience and then playing around mathematically. I happen to know what the solution is because I worked it out firsthand, but you could very easily guess this wrong and have to start all over. But what I'm going to try is multiplying the top and the bottom by the co the conjugate pair. So x plus h plus 1, this would be plus the square root of x plus 1. And then of course you divide the bottom by the same thing. And the reason why you want to do this is because now when you multiply the top together, you distribute everything out, you're going to get x plus h plus 1 minus x plus 1. And of course, if you multiply a square root by itself, that equals no square roots, and your cross terms cancel because this is a minus and this is a plus. So this is like x minus 3 times x plus 3. So that's the top. That is correct, by the way. You can check it out. The bottom is going to be h, the square root of x plus h plus 1, plus the square root of x plus 1. And that, of course, you know, the limits apply to all that. Let's keep working through the algebra. Let's take out the parentheses and start canceling some terms. We're going to see that x will cancel with the negative x, and that 1 will cancel with negative 1, distributing out the negative. So this gives us the limit as x goes, or as h goes to 0, of h divided by h, which multiplies x plus h plus 1, plus square root of x plus 1. Of course, these h's can cancel, and then you can apply the limits. So you plug h equals 0 into the equation, you get 1 over the square root of x plus 0 plus 1, plus the square root of x plus 1. And this all simplifies to be 1 over 2 square roots of x plus 1, and that is the derivative. So the process is straightforward. Every single problem you find, you take your f of x, you find f of x plus h, you plug it into the formula, and then you eliminate h from the denominator. Which is not necessarily an easy thing to do, but the process itself is inherently simple. Let me get rid of that sheet there, and I'll rewrite the formula for the derivative. It's equal to 1 over 2 times the square root of x plus 1. Now we still want to find the tangent line at x equals 8. So we'll do this by finding the slope first, which is just a matter of plugging 8 into the derivative for the formula. This is 2 times the square root of 8 plus 1. And that's equal to 1 times over 6, 1 6. 
square root of h plus 1 is 3 times 2 is 6. So this is equal to our slope. Next, we'll find a point, and once we have a point, we can use the point slope form to write the equation of our tangent line. f of x equals the square roots of x plus 1, and we're looking for the point x equals 8, so f of 8 equals the square roots of h plus 1, which equals 3. So this gives us the point 8, 3, as well as the slope equal to 1, 6. Point slope form of the line is y minus y1 equals x times, I'm sorry, m times x minus x1. So we'll plug our different values in. We get my y minus y minus 3 equals 1 sixth x minus 8. And there we have it, the equation of the tangent line.